Calvary, I invite you to take whatever posture is most fitting as we turn to our time of prayer. Let us pray. God, we are grateful to be in community with one another. And in a time where we are doing virtual ministry, that can be incredibly difficult to feel connected. We pray for everybody who might be having COVID fatigue and struggling with the fact that we are remaining virtual through the month of February. We pray for patience and for creativity and endurance during another difficult season. We pray for all of our frontline workers, oh God, that they are able to stay safe and stay well. We pray that hospital bed numbers are decreasing and that positivity positivity rates decrease as well. We pray collectively, oh God, for one another, wherever we might be in regards to the pandemic, whether we are over it, whether we are trying to stay positive, maybe a combination of both, maybe just angry and frustrated, whatever we might be feeling, may we know that we are not alone, that we in this congregation have others who are sharing those feelings. So God, may you give us the peace to continue caring for the greater community. May you give us understanding for the times when we just don't understand what is going on with this virus and give us patience. Patience that allows us to take deep breaths and know that it won't be forever. God, we pray together this morning for those in our community. We pray for Jim Armstrong who took a fall and broke his shoulder. And we pray for Linda Fisher as she cares for Jim. We pray that as part of their community, we are able to respond and support as they need and show up for one one another. We pray for Harry Crandall as his dementia increases, oh God, and that it would be gracious and merciful in this season of difficulties around loss of memory. We also pray for his collective support team. May they be strengthened and encouraged and have the support from us that they need. We pray for Sandra Shreve and her sister Marguerite and the fact that her sister is back in the hospital and on a feeding tube. We pray for good and thorough care, helpful communication from the hospital to her loved ones. And we pray that she is able to be well. We also pray for those who love Marguerite and are able to not be with her for a variety of reasons that they are comforted during this time. And God, we pray also for my family who is currently COVID positive and, and navigating these times. We are grateful for community and support. We're grateful for mild symptoms, for vaccines and boosters. And we pray that our kiddos are okay. We pray for all who are in similar situations like ours, that we would be able to navigate work and childcare and all the things in between. God, we pray for every family who has kids in daycare, and when daycare shut down or when uh, nursing homes and care facilities go on lockdown. God, these are not easy things to navigate and we just pray for the collective community that's impacted. God, we come together for those that are recently added to the prayer list who have been named today, but we also pray for all who rest upon our hearts and minds. We pray that they are tended to that we are comforted and that we are given peace that surpasses all understanding to guide us through these days. And as we gather this morning, we boldly proclaim once again the prayer you taught us so long ago, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Come. 